Part one of a three-part summer wrap for the boys of summer. Paul Hoyleman, the inaugural college home run derby champ, unable to defend his title after being drafted in the 19th round by the Chicago Cubs. So Dylan Pratt got the invite to represent ETSU at TD Ameritrade Field in Omaha back on July 2nd. Pratt, 15 homers on the year. Not the least notable among them was a ninth inning blast to pull the Bucks through at Tennessee Tech and finally break that drought in Cookville. A three-run shot for Dylan Pratt. And the legend continues to grow. So Pratt at the bat in Omaha. Fans on hand at the 112 downtown to watch the Johnson City native and head coach Tony Skoll on the mound for him. Pratt would knock out Clemson's Richie Schaefer before falling just short of the finals. But it was a memorable experience for the JUCO transfer. You know, Paul definitely paved the way going out in there and just putting on a show and really getting us on the map last year. And uh, for me, it's just one of those experiences I feel like I'll just never forget. And it's something that I want to go out there and just try to try to really bring it back home for us and really kind of make that a thing that we always send guys out there. Bucks blasted the most homers in the nation at Cardinal Park that season. Next year, they'll christen a new launching pad as work continues on the new baseball complex just across from campus completion scheduled for spring 2012. It'll overlook the new University Edge Apartments. From the new stadium site, I'm John Stevens.